Hello, today in this video I am going to show you how you can use uh, likelihood ratio test in your nested models. So likelihood ratio test or LR test is used uh, most commonly in the nested models. First of all we will talk about uh, the nested models. What are nested models? Nested models are the models in which the dependent variable is same but in the case of the independent variables uh, some of the pari uh, parameters are um, are taken as zero. So, uh, for example, if we talk about uh, a model in which uh, I am having uh, some variable, uh, like uh, I am having here uh, some of the variables like this. Uh, this is my model in which uh, I have a, a, a variable named as new loan copy and uh, uh, this variable says uh, the whether the company has applied for loan or not okay second is the high growth firm uh, so this, this was the dependent variable and uh, independent variables are high growth firm whether the uh, uh, okay the firms are uh, high growth firms or not and uh, the second uh, independent variable is uh, female owner uh, whether the uh, owner of the company was a female or not and the age of the dummy okay so uh, this is uh, my model and uh, in this model i have used uh, the categorical variables uh, which uh, uh, which i have used for predicting my model so uh, first of all i will run this model and uh, after running this model uh, uh, i will run another model in uh, and uh, this model will be having the same variables as uh, there were for the previous one but with some additional variables so here also you can see that uh, okay, okay first of all I, what I will do is I will store it so I will the command estimate store m1 okay so I will store this result in my uh, M1 uh, named variable. So uh, now you can see that uh, this is this was my model, and uh, now uh, I will take another model in which I will use the same variables. I I am using the same variables here. We have profit, new loan, copy as high growth firms, and female owner and uh, age dummy. With and in addition to this, in addition to all these, I have added two more variables here, okay, which were taken as zero in the previous case, okay. So now here, these two variables are in addition to the previous, and this model now, the previous model, this one is now nested inside this model. So this is the bigger one, and this this one is the smaller one. So it, this model is nested in this new model. So I will run this model also. And uh, after after running this, I will I will store it also. So I will use estimate store m2 estimate store m2. And after this, I will test for likelihood ratio. So lr test m1 m2 now you can see here that uh, uh, here that uh, they have assumed that m1 is nested in m2 okay and uh, here the probability is coming out to be 0 0.0041 which is coming out to be significant now, now what does it mean it means that the variables here which are added so these added variables they are increasing the fit of the model okay it shows that uh, when you increase the these two variables together not individually if you are adding these two variables together then the it increases the fit of the model it increases the fitness of the model okay if this value does not come out to be significant it does it, it, it means that uh, the the addition of these two variable 
has not done any significant increase in the fitness of the model so it is better to do to, uh, to take these two variables together in your model so it is told by this significance value so lr test uh, is mainly used for these things only whether whether the addition of these additional variables will improve the fitness of the model or not so uh, and and one more thing uh, you can see here that uh, in the first case here the uh, here the value was 7 means uh, this is the degree of the freedom okay that is 7 here okay the, uh, it is 7 here because uh, it is a 1 2 and uh, 1 2 3 and uh, experience uh, two dummy variables are here 4 5 and two dummy variables for age uh, 6 7 so total 7 is the uh, is the degree of freedom here here the degree of freedom was 4 because uh, two uh, two dummy variables 3 and 4 so 4 was here and and now what is the degree of freedom of this uh, lr test here the degree of freedom is 3 and why it is because uh, because we, uh, it takes the degree of freedom equal to the number of variables which were omitted in the in the variable okay so uh, here you have uh, you, you were having uh, you have were having these variables as zero so two here dummy variables and this one uh, variable so total three variables were uh, were taken as zero here so the lr model uh, lr test will give the degree of freedom as three okay so uh, now lr model always uses two models so it means that you have to run two models in case of uh, doing a test using the likelihood ratios so uh, but there is one more thing that is the there, there is one more test that is called as wall test and wall test uses only one model and it almost give the same results for wall test uh, let's have uh, another model uh, we have a model uh, let's suppose we have this model in which uh, 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 we want to test for these two variables whether the addition uh, addition of these two variables simultaneously increases the fitness of the model or not okay so uh, uh, there in case of uh, uh, likelihood ratio test uh, there was the requirement of two different uh, models to run and after that you get the result what here is the advantage that uh, you need to have uh, uh, only one model and uh, you have to run only one model and after that it will give you the result so uh, now how we will run the model here uh, we will run this model and uh, we will we will test whether the addition of these two variables has has uh, has increased the fitness or not, fitness of the model or not so for this uh, we will do the test for these two variables so in so now in wall test uh, what it will do is it will simultaneously take those those two variables as zero okay simultaneously it will take those two variables and zero and then it will uh, give out the result so here you can see that uh, chi square degree of freedom is uh, taken as two because there were two variables and uh, uh, there is the probability that is chi square significant it is significant and uh, it, it shows that the addition of these two variables in a model increases the fitness of the model so this is the advantage of wall test but there is uh, one thing that uh, if you are having a dummy variable like if you are having a dummy variable and if you are using a dummy variable the addition of the dummy variable uh, with i operator then the i operator is not accepted by the wall test so uh, in, in case of uh, in case you are using um, uh, using the using the i operator simultaneously 
uh, such a variable uh, which, which is dummy variable and you are using i operator uh, here and whether the whether it increases the fitness or not for that uh, it will show an error like uh, it will it will show error like uh, i is uh, this uh, operator invalid so in that case uh, you can go for uh, lr test but because in LR test, uh, it does not show any such problem. Okay, so, but if you don't have, uh, uh, if you are not using I operator, in that case, you can uh, use this model. Uh, you can use the wall test and it will give you almost the same result as even by the LR test. So, uh, I hope you like my video. Uh, thanks for watching.